my name is Benny and welcome to my channel. Today we will see the cubs and balls, the props. Stay tuned! Today we will focus on the props to do the cubs and balls. And the first item that you need is a cup. So you can use a uh, regular uh, coffee cup, yes, or tea cup. These are really, really great because it's almost impromptu. Yeah, you can do this um, every, almost everywhere. You can um, make a one, uh, one cup routine. Yes, like this on the pocket and then it comes like this. So this is really, really um, nice to exercise with normal, yes, normal cups or normal items. Um, when you are in the restaurant, you you take uh, a piece of handkerchief, you roll it to a ball and you have um, your impromptu cup and ball routine, yes? But you can uh, use everything, um, every possible cup. Yeah, here's a, a classic dice, uh, dice cup. You can use uh, this kind of thing, yes? I made a routine um, for, for kids, for the cups and balls, and I use this uh, how you call this? Plastiline cups. Yes, I keep here the the plastiline like this. This is now very old, so <laughs> this don't work anymore. But you can roll uh, the balls uh, uh, from plastiline and then do the cup and ball with this. So this is really really cool because they know uh, this item, they know uh, the plastiline, and they are really really happy to to see this. So. Um, there you can make also the final loads, whatever you want. You can uh, do a little plastiline dog or whatever. So this is a really, really cool idea to, to, use, uh, to use these cups for cups and balls, especially for, for kids party or, or something like this. Good, but you can also use um, cups like, like this. Uh, this I use, these are cocktail shakers and I use these to do a stand-up uh, or yes, a stage, uh, stage cups and balls. Um, these are great because on stage you see clearly three cups. You can have um, a bigger final load. So uh, for me, it was the final load was a cocktail. So the cocktail was uh, so big. So I needed to have a big cup uh, for for this uh, final load. Okay. And you have also this, uh, yes, this cocktail. This was, I think it, this was the, the top of the cocktail. So um, yes, you can do uh, this kind of thing. So these are the classic or standard uh, common cups that you can find, but you can do this with every cup, okay? Or with every um, form. Yes, uh, or shape of the cup, uh, as as this, or uh, when uh, you have an, um, a spray, yes, a spray dose, you can take the cap off uh, and use this uh, for the cups and balls. So the creativity is uh, <laughs> is open. There yeah, is so so big. Yes, you have also cups that are specially made for the cups and balls. Uh, these are aluminium cups. They're really, really cheap. Uh, you can find this on Amazon and internet, wherever you want. And what is so special about this? Um, the first thing, and I think this is, yes, really, really good thing, is the, the bottom, so the top of the bottom of the cup. <laughs> so this part, okay? You have here a rim and you have here, it's a little bit beveled, yes? So that's, makes that the ball, yes, don't, <laughs> doesn't fall down, yes, when you are making like this, ah, I'm exaggerating now the move, but you get the idea, yes, and if you can hold two balls, yes, like this, and they don't fall to the ground or to the table. So this is also a good feature. But the second feature is this rim, yes? 
Notice when I stack the cups like this, they are separated by this rim. And this does that here on the bottom of the cup, so in, inside, you have some space. And you have some space to, to mask or to hide two, three or four balls, okay? If you do the same with, uh, with I cannot show you, I don't have two, uh, two uh, cups, but if you do the same with these cups, there are not enough space to hide two or three balls, okay? So that's why this rim is so important, okay? Also, yeah, not important, but very, very useful. The third reason or feature of normal, or specially uh, designed for cups and balls, is the, the shape of the, of, the, uh, of the cup. I show you my favorite cups, and you will see what I, what I want to say. These are my, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite cups. These are made of brass. And here you have the, the shape. And when you are producing the final load, you have this optical illusion. Look, if I place this ball on top of the cup, you have the impression that the ball doesn't fit in the cup. Yes, because here it's so uh, so thin. You know? it, it goes it goes from uh, from large to thin. So it, it's it's like this. Yes, and because of that, your impression is wow, this is a big ball. Yes, and in reality, it fits easily into the cup. Okay, in this, it's also like this, but you have less uh, less the impression but yes the illusion is uh, almost perfect yes so this is this is the, the third uh, the third reason um, yes why uh, or not reason but advantage to uh, to use uh, cups that are made by uh, for for cu the cups and balls but i think these regular cups are really great too because the people know them, yes? If you are doing magic with items that the spectator know, then the magic, it's my opinion, the magic gets stronger, okay? One thing, if you want to purchase now um, cups for your cups and balls, notice that these cups, they are really great, really, really great to begin with is no problem, yes? I like I like these cups because they are uh, also heavier. Yes, they feel nice. And one more advantage on these cups are when you have, for instance, an, uh, a sponge ball. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I show you first of this. When I have here a sponge ball and I cover this, look the cup. It has not. I can show you with two balls, but this is good. If you have bigger balls, okay, the cup stands a little bit uh, because of, 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 the, of the sponge ball. It doesn't fit, yes, like this. And here on these cups, because of the weight, the cup simply pushes the, the sponge ball down, yes. And this is an, also an advantage, yes, um, to use to use heavier heavier cups. But this is only my my opinion. So um, you you can use uh, and buy whatever you want. <laughs> Good. Now I show you a little move that is used very often on, in the cups and balls routines. It's a comedy move, but um, with a little also a little utility. Look, when I take the cup, I make like this. Now, uh, this cup goes to that cup, and that cup goes to this cup. Yes. What that does, you can hide a ball. Yes, but it's also a nice illusion that one cup passes through the other. Yes. And when you are making like this, now this cup is okay. Uh, this move is 
really really simple only that you need to do is to hold the cup between the thumb and middle finger and when you come and yes when you let drop the the the, the second cup you simply pinch here the 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 bottom cup and let go the the no sorry the top cup and let go the bottom cup okay so like this okay and this gives a, a little yes a nice uh, optical illusion and make it with this one like this okay this this gives the, the impression that the, the cup is is passed uh, through and as i said you can hide you can show the two cups and uh, hiding one ball so when you are making like this look this cup goes to that cup and that cup goes to this cup so apparently you you show the two cups but in reality you only show the, the empty cup and you don't show um, this uh, this ball yes so this is a little move that i wanted to show you now <laughs> just um, yes for curiosity good what i want to show you now these are the balls the classic balls are these crochet balls yes you have it in different sizes different colors uh, also different weights so yes you have so so many possibilities uh, to, to to find this uh, magic shops on amazon and 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 much more these are really great i think because um these are also useful for other tricks like the three uh, the three ball trick another classic uh, in magic these are great because yes they are cheap you find them almost everywhere and um, they also depending on the weight they don't make much noise okay if you are taking like this ball this makes a little bit noise yes for instance when i have it like this when i have it palmed and i want to drop this on the table you hear the ball hitting the table first okay and the crochet ball yes when i have it like this you don't hear it because of the yes how you call this of the of the cloth or of the 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 threads the ball is um more soft on the sound okay so this is an advantage advantage about the crochet ball okay um of course that heavier it is that it makes more sound and now he this ball is is very light it doesn't make so much sound okay good but you can use also um one other type of ball what i like is the pompon uh, tommy wonder uses these balls um by the way his routine the two cup routine is wonderful um i love this routine i for me it's one of the best routines in the world of the cups and balls because it's so so nice it they are um, he uses many techniques a good mix direction and it's really really powerful and direct uh, technique it's, i yeah, yes i can uh, watch the, the routine over and over again uh, it's so great but yes he uses this one and these are great because they don't make sound yes so you can uh, you oh, i'm sorry <laughs> i have one you can use these balls everywhere okay you don't have uh yes you don't need to have a an, an close-up mat or something like this yes uh what's cool about this you can make it yourself uh, uh with every color is possible yes so um and the size also i think this is a cool uh, cool nice variation of the ball yeah but you can also use as i showed a uh, sponge ball yeah these are also great um, is also um, not loud yeah if you want to use you have also the possibility to purchase uh, little baseballs i think uh, michael emma uses these um, these balls to for, on his uh, cups and balls routine i think they are quite expensive 
uh, but really nice because they are really cute, uh, uh, cute, uh, sorry, <laughs> cute uh, little baseballs. So, um, but yeah, uh, you have also, I think, um, RTN2, um, they make like a little olive um, for the cups and balls. So, uh, so the creativity you can use whatever you want here. Yeah? You can use dice, you can use uh, uh, sugar cubes, you can use almost everything. I showed you a soccer ball, but you have also these uh, plastic fruits, okay? Where you can use, it's a little bit complicated to steal and like this, but it, uh, it works, yes? So, um, yeah. The only thing that it maybe is good to know is when you have your cups it is good when at least two balls can be on the top of the cup without falling down yes if you have these balls it doesn't fit okay but it's not a must but it's, it's good to have okay uh, when you have a small cup like this yes and you want to to have two uh, balls it's almost impossible okay this is also ah yes it works also but you know what i mean okay so try to yes to think about this if you need this feature okay if you don't don't make if you don't make the this trick for instance when one ball um you have one ball and then one ball passes through and there are two balls you don't need this feature of, of two balls on the top, so um, good. So, one ball in the pocket, yes? How many balls are here? No, no, I say one ball in the pocket, yes? How many balls are here? Of course, one. The final loads. I love the final loads. Um, the final loads is the thing that I'm waiting for when I see the Cubs and Balls routine. What makes it so powerful? It's unexpected and also because also of the of the optical illusion it it seems so impossible and also it seems also impossible because the spectator cannot imagine how you you put this underneath the cup when when <laughs> yes because the the misdirection is so strong yeah so you can use um pompons like this as i say tommy wonder uses this uh, in this routine but you can also use as i said the classical is an orange or lemon so a real orange or real lemon real potato but you can also use these fake uh, plastic uh, fruits Another idea to use a simple ball, a baseball, and a manipulation ball. <coughs> you have so, so many possibilities. You can also, if you have an um, making with dice, you have these little dice like this, okay? Imagine you, can, you glue this, uh, this tube inside here, like this, okay? And at the moment, where, where you make the production, I'm making like this, yes. <coughs> you glue or you make a magnet, yes. So the magnet is magnetic like, like this. And after this, this part sticks onto, onto the, on the, to the cup. And when you lift the cup, then I make it here. <laughs> then you have this, uh, this nice, of course, this is not not made for, but you have these nice um, these nice dices. Yes, this is a good. I think it's powerful because it's even more makes it even more impossible to load these uh, little dices into here because yes, I love I love this. Uh, also, when you are making the final load um, uh, a liquid. Uh, for instance, you can use a technique. I don't know uh, who was this. I think uh, Scott Alexander he uses, but it was. It is not a cup and ball, but he makes this with coins. And at the end, he has a coffee cup, 
at the end it takes a spoon and then he has real coffee inside and this is also a good idea yes but what Tommy Wonder also did and also I think Manuel Muerte uh, is to use I'm sorry now I have this like this is to use the back yes to do the final or one of the final loads so imagine you approach the table like this you say hello my name is Benny la, 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 la. look what I have here these are nice balls yes look can you examine the back da, 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 da. yes examining examining yes are you it's okay fine it doesn't <laughs> don't have nothing to do with the trick so you have a little joke and at the end you can load the bag into the into the into the cup and you have this here a surprising load um, for the cups and balls uh, Tommy Wonder does this he leaves the bag on the table and when he is doing his cups and balls routine he steals uh, the bag yes and uh, and loads in uh, into the into the into the cup and this makes it more powerful because the back was the entire time on the table and the misdirection is even powerful i guess so uh, yeah i love i love the final loads one other idea is to use this little duck yes okay Boom, doo -doo. hello this was my my final load for the the children cups and balls when uh, uh, with uh, with uh, how you say plastiline thing yes so at the end the ball is vanished and then you produce this little uh, little duck so um good so the last item uh, or the last prop that I want to show you on and, and talk about is the wand I love the wand you can use the wand and you can don't use the wand. There are many magicians, um, like, as I say, Tommy Wonder, but also other uh, great magicians, they don't use wand to do the cups and balls routine. But if you are a beginner, I suggest you to use this because that gives you a reason to have your hands like in a special <laughs> way, yes? I explain you. If you have now the ball, I take this that you can see. If I palm the, the ball, the right hand is not natural, yes, if you are not doing this correctly. And also the right hand has a little bit of heat on this hand, yes. By the simple fact to use wand and to grab the wand, the hand has a reason why the hand is like like this so in this shape okay so and also for the mind of the, the spectator a hand that holds something is an empty hand okay for the spectator um, so this hand now looks empty and this hand yes it can have something inside okay you know what I mean also if you have the cup like this yeah if you have a cup you can palm an object without nothing okay this is only a cup so you only have the cup in in the hand okay so the wand helps you to hide the objects okay and to have a reason why you have the hand curled like this or yes some muscles yeah some the muscles not uh, not not uh, how you say this not locker. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Good. What is cool about the wand? You can use vanishes especially made for wand. Okay, I explain you. Uh, for instance, this wand, uh, this wand, <laughs> this one. When you have the ball like this, and da da da. You can also use this one. It's called the Divernon wand spin. But you don't have to use a wand, you can also use 
a pen uh, and yes act as, as the wand and there you can make the, the same things as the wand and to have something that masks your I say this like this that masks your palming okay so you have a reason to have to hold this like this okay uh, you can use a stick you can use a chopstick or a pen or yes something something long something uh, um, in this in this shape yes so this is it these are the basic props to do the cams and balls of course you don't have to use um, three cups three balls you can use one cup you can use two cups uh, you can use the wand or you without wand uh, you can use the spoon um, and so on and so on so you can adapt these uh, these techniques or these props to your needs yes um, I will make several episodes on the cups and balls because I think the cups and balls is a perfect a perfect a trick uh, for you to improve your magic because you can take techniques and adapt it to your needs okay the cups and balls is as I say like a cocktail you have some ingredients on your table and the more ingredients you have the more variations you can make so in my episodes because this is the first episode and I will do other on, on the vanishes appearance and, and so on and so on so in these episodes I want you to give as many ingredients as possible so that you can make your own cocktail okay I don't want to to show you my routine or to to teach you my routine because yes maybe this don't fit to your style okay so this is why I choose this I choose this um, um, yes this format to, to, to do the these episodes yes so if you have some questions some suggestions or like if you want to know more about cups or more about uh, a specific um, technique or vanish or the final load or whatever please let me know make me a comment and it will be a pleasure for me to ask and uh, to ask to answer all of these questions if you liked the video i will be very very happy if you subscribe my channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss any any videos i wish you a very very nice day bye bye and stay tuned